I'm Jennifer from Workroom Social. Let's talk about sewing zigzag stitches. So the first thing that you want to do when you're sewing a zigzag is to change your machine from straight stitch to zigzag. So on my sewing machine, I have a section here called pattern, which is the different stitch types. And I'm going to twist the dial till I get to my zigzags. Now, on my machine, the stitch width for zigzag, so if you're going zigzag, it's how wide the zigzag is. That's in the same area um, as the stitch selector. On your machine, you might have a separate width, um, width dial, but I don't. So I'm gonna go ahead and set mine to as wide as it can possibly go, the widest zigzag. And now I'm gonna go to my stitch length. Now the stitch length on a zigzag is how far apart each stitch is. So you could have a really long zigzag, or you could have a very short zigzag. So I'm going to do, in the middle, I'll just do a 2.5, um, and then you are almost ready to go. One of the most important things that you have to remember if you're going to do zigzag is you have to change your presser foot. Um, right now, the presser foot that is set on my machine is for straight stitching only. You can see the little tiny hole the needle goes into. Um, but when we sew zigzag, the needle bounces from left to right. So if we did that on this foot, uh, we would break our needle and possibly um, break the machine. And so what I'm going to do on my machine, I have a quick release lever. I'm just going to push that and the foot comes right off. Set that aside. And now I'm going to use this foot, which has a wide opening for the needle so the needle can bounce left to right on our zigzags. So I'm just going to put that on. And then I'm going to take my needle thread and put it underneath the presser foot and put both threads towards the back of the machine. So now we're ready to stitch our zigzag. I'm going to take this fabric. We're going to uh, fold it in half so that we're, as if we're stitching two pieces of fabric together. We're going to put it underneath the presser foot, put it down. We're using our 5 8 of an inch seam guide on the right, fabric to the left, um, and then we're just going to sew our zigzag. And you can see what's happening here. Our needle is on the right, and now it bounces to the left, to the right, and to the left. and. Just to show you, if you change the width of your zigzag, the zigzag's really wide. We just made a more narrow zigzag, and then let's show you a short zigzag. We can compare these stitches to see what all these different zigzags look like. So here we have a stitch length of 2.5. It's 2.5 from each peak. And then this is also a stitch length 2.5, 2.5 from each peak. And here we've just changed the width. So this is a wider zigzag and this is a more narrow zigzag. And then on this last stitching, we've changed the length as well. So now from each peak, there's less of a space. I went down to almost a one, so almost one millimeter between each of these peaks. And that's how you sew zigzags.